welcome back to linuxjobber.com where we teach you about Linux jobs. Whether you're a new system administrator or a seasoned system administrator looking for your next job, all we do is give you refreshers, reminders so that you can go and blast that Linux interview. My own name is Shomi Joseph and my email is shopopolos at gmail.com so if you have any questions about blasting the interview or about preparing for your Red Hat Systems Administrators exam, please let me know. Give me an email, shoot me an email, and I will be sure to respond to your email. Let's get started for today's tutorial. For today, we'll be going to our website, linuxjobber.com, and we'll be still be looking at data protection and reliability. And if we look at that, these are the videos you need to look at. And here is the practice test that we'll be using, preparing for Red Hat Systems Administrator, and uh, also prepares you for um, Linux jobs. So if you look at this question, we've done number 15 already, we will be doing number 16 today. Label the prac part as prac part and include it in your FS tab system. This is a very simple question and most likely what will be happening here is that um, a question like this on the RHCA exam will probably be about 16 points. Here it's going to be about 4 points. And what you need to understand is that a lot of interviewers are probably not going to ask you about label because they don't care so much for label but the RHCA exam might care maybe maybe not so um, let's just take do this very quickly it's one of the very simple ones so let's go and do it quickly so in question 15 we created this partition and it wasn't label let's take a look at the partition very quickly so we use something called E2 uh, label we can use this or we can use TNFS, but let's use E2 level and we're looking at dev SDA3 is the partition we created. See, there is no label to it. So what we just have to do is label it very quickly and let's call it, um, we can, I think, it, I think there's a name for it. Let's take a look at the name in the question. I think the question gave us a name for it. So I'll create a format question. Label it as practice. Part. All right, so let's just go and label this as prax part. Label this as prax part. So now it's labeled prax part. If we look at it, now we see the label. So now if we print the label, the name of the label, and you will see that the name of the label is now prax part. So now let's include this in our file system. So we vi our etc fs tab and right here. So now um, we here we have it. I'm just going to uh, copy an existing line just so I don't have to type all over everything. And if you look at here, I'm just going to delete what's on this existing line. And I'm going to now create a label here. You put the word label equal to prac parts. So prac part. So it's a label. Now the system knows its label and it's going to mount. Um, where does the question say to mount it? It says to. It just says to include it in the FS tab. So it doesn't say where to mount it. But in question 15, it says to mount it in opt prac part. So um, let's just leave it at opt prac part for now. And unless, you know, a question tells us to change it. So here I'm also going to edit the mount point from my existing one to opt prat part. So now um, we should be fine. This is all we need. And uh, we save the FS tab file and get out of it. And then we can reboot our system and make sure it runs very well. I'm going to reboot my system and I'll show you when we get to 
that point but I won't bore you with the reboot process I'll just pause the video so I would just like to show you exactly what kind of errors you can get um, I don't have to show you this but it's better if you see what kind of errors you can get and I'll tell you how to fix it so um, what happened here is that when I try to mount when I try to restart the system it says unable to label uh, part part and unable to resolve label part part so for some reason it looks like our system does not recognize the label and this is good because a lot of people go into the Red Hat certified systems administrator exam and believe that they did very well and don't understand why the, they failed the exam and one of the things that can happen is that if your if the system is trying to grade your paper and it hangs up like this, it is obvious that um, they're not going to get a full score. You're probably not going to get any score for this whole test just because the system can't get into your into your um, the the grading system can't get into the work that you have done in order to grade it. So here's a very likely reason people fail the Red Hat Systems Administrator and it's very easy to fail it don't 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 beat yourself on it so um, let's go and troubleshoot why and I'll troubleshoot why and I'll let you know what happened so what happened in our system um, if you can see I actually went and remounted the um, the root file system and what I did was that I first tab I commented out our partition and then it was able to boot and then what I did was that I removed the forward slash that we have in front of the partition and now it boot normally so if you remember how we started out this question we believed it was going to be a very simple question and then there was a mistake and that's why a lot of experienced system administrators fail the RACA exam, the Red Hat Certified Systems Administrators exam, not because they don't know what they're doing, but because checking your work over and over and making sure it's correct 10 times is not as good as testing it once. So you really have to reboot the system and make sure everything comes back up, even though you really believe you have done it correctly. Because if you look at this, this is an example here. With the forward slash partition with the forward slash in front of the label and it works and we did it exactly the same way and it doesn't work until i went in there and removed the forward slash and now it works so don't believe that it will work if you haven't tested it to make sure that it works so now we mount i remounted and rebooted and everything came up correctly so that solves that question. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't forget to send me an email. My name is Shomi Joseph and my email is shopopolos at gmail.com. Don't forget to send me an email. I would love for all you guys to go out and get Linux jobs and do very well at your jobs. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.